and welcome to SCR1 TNA Knitting Project podcast. My name is Sharon and I'm coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family, three cats and a dog. This is episode 74 and today is Thursday the 1st of October 2020. Welcome if you are a new viewer, welcome back if you're a returning viewer. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my podcast all about my knitting and any other crafts I happen to be doing. I have a little bit of spinning, a little bit of embroidery and a tiny bit of journaling I think today. Um, should we get straight into it? Right, my first section is admin. Um, we have the check-in due for the blanket, square a day blanket knit along that we're doing. Um, I have opened a Ravelry thread and I have put a hashtag on Instagram. If you can only enter in one of those, that will make my life so much easier. I have a few prizes. Um, the lovely Jenny from Woolly Goodness has donated one of her scrappy boxes. Um, I have a skein of yarn from Game um, Gamer Crafting, which I accidentally bought two of. So I've already got a pair of socks in this, and it's really sparkly, really pretty. Um, we have a lovely set of stitch markers from Betty Arthur Creations, and a lovely rope bowl from our lovely moderator Katie. Who made that and donated one as a prize so they're the prizes for the check-in this month um get your um squares into the finished it's not a finished object the check-in thread or on it on instagram and i will draw for those um i didn't open it until yesterday so i'm going to leave it a couple of days to give time for people to um Put their entries in so this will you'll see this sunday so i'm going to close it next monday which will be that oh, I'll don't do this to yourself Sharon honestly the fifth I will close it on the fifth <laughs> so if you are nearly there you've got a couple more days to squeak through seriously I do that to myself all the time so, oh yeah we'll close it on the yeah no idea no idea what the day is anyway so that's our lovely prize pile um I am going to draw one of the prizes from the chatter thread um, and that will be a pattern prize, which I will um, do up to the value of £10. Um, so yeah, that's the prizes. The other niche along we've got at the moment is the garment knit along. Um, so I think we've got a few finished objects for that, so it's brilliant. Um, well done, everybody who's finishing it off. If you, are, if you are knitting a garment or if you want to knit a garment, if you're less than 50% done, you can enter. And finished objects need to be in the thread by the end of the year. Again, I will probably leave that open a couple of days. Um, I think that's it for admin. Um, any comments I've got on... No, it's not. I've got something else to mention. Um, any comments I've got on my videos I am going to answer in vlogtober and also thank you so much for the feedback of the zoom let's do a zoom knit night um if you can dm me if you're interested then I can send you the inv zoom invitation because I don't want to just do it publicly um I want to make sure that uh, you know the people that are joining are members of the group um not necessarily the Ravelry group but people I sort of no, watch the podcast they either interact on instagram or on the comments below you get what i mean they're a friend um <laughs> i want to keep us all safe basically um katie our lovely moderator has agreed to come on with me what she doesn't know and she may just be about to find out unless i've told her before sunday um i can give her administration rights which means she can boot anybody out if they're misbehaving as well as me um <laughs> but we're going to have a practice this weekend so it won't be till probably next weekend um maybe even the weekend after but i will give you plenty of warning and i'll put messages out so message me with your interest i know a lot of you already have but if you can direct message me then it'll make it easier for me to contact you um i'm guessing actually if you can leave me your email address that would be even easier for me to send you the link so that'd be fab um and the other thing is i'm doing vlogtober um what i totally forgot to do was to say not to do a podcast during vlogtober because it's too much but i'm going to do this obviously i'm doing this one because you're watching it um but i will take a break from podcasting um during vlogtober and um you can all catch up with me each day because hopefully i will do daily videos um if you're not one for watching the vlogs particularly there should be quite a bit of knitting content that i have an idea um that i want to try and show the day by day knitting project 
um, and the struggles I have with sometimes wanting to do different things. Um, so I thought maybe if you don't really want to watch the daily vlogs, you could perhaps pop a little bit of time aside on a Sunday when I would normally drop a podcast episode and watch them then. That was my thoughts. I'm going to try and not to have too much where it's sort of music and looking at scenery and things. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more diary and chatty. But I mean, I'm guessing there may be some days where I'm like, yeah, you know what? This is not happening today. So here you go. Here's a pretty flower to look at. But um, I'm hoping it's going to be more me chatting to you. Hopefully if I get some comments, I can start chatting back. Um, that's my theory. Anyway, let's go on with the podcast for this week and um, we'll go straight into the knitting. So day one is socks and my first one is hanging out in this lovely bag by Sherry Iris. And this popped up on my time hop today. And see, I'm already in vlog mode. Never mind the formality of the podcast. We're going to have a chat now. Um, yeah, this popped up on my time hop today. Um, and I was using it to knit the litmus cowl um, by Amy... Um, from Stranded Dye Works in um, the Autumn's Treasures box from Sherry Iris. Have you ever looked at a project and gone, oh, I wish I could do that again? Exactly the same. I just have that feeling that I had with that. Anyway, these are socks. Um, and these are the Honeybee Dance Socks by Curious Handmade. That is the first one. Now, um, they're designed to be full-length socks, but I'm doing a set of little shorty socks for next summer for myself. And I was there last time you saw these. I was just joining the tops together. I think either that or I was halfway down the heel flap, but I have done quite a bit now. Um, I have got, I need five repeats, and I've done three of the pattern. So I am getting there. Um, shouldn't take me too much longer. Now I use little stitch markers so that I can keep the pattern straight. And that would be my tip with you. If you're doing lace knitting, pop a little stitch marker in. And then if you're not on the right stitch, by the time you get to the stitch marker, you've only got a small section to rip back as opposed to a whole round. <laughs> um, I love these, these are lovely. The yarn is by a homespun house. I have quite a stash of homespun house yarn that I keep and think oh, it's too precious to um, knit. And I've, I think we've, if you've been following me for a little while, you'll know that I've decided this year is the year to knit all the precious yarn. Um, I've said this before, I'm not too sure about the pink and the orange, but um, I have had some great feedback that they, yes, it does work. <laughs> I, I'm not sure it's something I would wear, but well, it is going to be something to wear because I'm, I'm going to wear because it it's a sock and I am going to wear it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but it's very pretty yarn, it's beautiful to knit with, and I love how it's knitting up in kind of it's kind of knitting up stripy. I'll show you on that part on the, on the foot, sort of a bit of a stripe going on there. And I'm using two circulars, which is my preferred way of knitting socks so that's my first sock whip where did I put there it is that's my first sock whip now my other one normally hangs out in a yarn bowl that sits on my desk but on Sunday um, it was sock day and I went to Windsor Castle for my middle daughter's birthday um, and I wanted to take my plain sock with me and I didn't want anything big because I only had a small bag with me so I grabbed this little sack which was made by the lovely Kelly of Lay Family Yarn and was in her birthday box I think it was last year um, and it fits literally a skein of yarn and the sock whip <laughs> perfectly so this is yarn by um, Looking Glass Fiber Arts. I haven't got the no, I haven't got the tag in there. It's really pretty. I'm not quite sure why my yarn decided it was going to do that. My ball winder is well and truly on its way out. And the last time you saw these, 
I was in fact there where that little stitch marker is and I'm now going down I think I've done all of that I think I'm about to turn the heel I love how these are knitting up that little stitch marker is one of my own I've made that one I am thinking of trying to make them we'll, we will see um, love this sock it's such a happy sock and this is my um, tribute to Cat Bordy sock whose book I used to learn to knit socks and has changed my life because I use the two circulars which I use to knit socks I use it for sleeves I use it for knitting bodies of sweaters um, I use it for all sorts of things it's a great technique to learn so that's day one socks so day two is super secret knitting and that is hanging out in this lovely bag that So Can Jo made me, which I adore. Um, I thought I'd just show the bag off, seeing as how, you know, I can't show you what's inside it. But it's such a big bag, it's a lovely bag, it's holding it all. So good. Very lovely bag. And there is one for you in the prize pot for the um, garment cow, so that would be perfect for a garment. <laughs> And day three is garment day and the eagle eyed amongst you will see I am wearing it. Um, this is the EDT by Isabel Kramer. Um, let's see if I can go back far enough for you to just see the bottom. No, you can't. Excuse me, chair. Move my chair for a minute. There we go. So as you can see, I've done a split hem rather than the shaped hem. Um, you can see at the moment where I have split where I've cut the bottom off to remake it because in fact I have the bottom right here this was the bottom um, and it felted so I cut it off so that used to be there I cut it off and luckily had enough of this yarn to um, remake it which I have done um, and the yarn is Nora George in her spring colourway. I obviously really liked it because I had a whole skein left that I hadn't used. Um, the top part was fine because this was a um, merino nylon with Stellina. Um, didn't have a problem with it. The bottom was merino nylon and um, cashmere and felted. No fault of the yarn or the dye or anything like that. It was just the way it was washed. Um, which is annoying, but you know, these things happen. But luckily, I had enough yarn left over to re knit it, so I cut the bottom off and I've just re knit the bottom. And now I have another garment, which I'm really pleased about, and I love this garment, it's really pretty. And I was really sad when it um, when it felted. So, the fact that I've managed to repair it, um, I'm, I'm really really pleased with. So that's day three of garment day. So next week I get to cast on a new garment and at the moment I have um, three I want to cast on so I've got to decide which one I want to do. I've got the lovely DK yarn that I got from um, Laura at the Laney Knitter um, that she kindly gave me. And I'm thinking I may make, well, I'm either gonna make an understated or a Whitmore I think with that. I've got the green yarn from Jenny of Willy Goodness where I want to make a cardigan with and I've got a Aran weight sweater pattern that I want to knit some of my Aran weight stash with. Not sure which one of those three is going to win. <laughs> so hopefully during vlog vlogtober, I keep saying vlogmas, during vlogtober I will make that decision and you will get to see what I decide to do. Right, I may even put a poll up on Instagram and go, which one should I do, guys? <laughs> you choose. <laughs> well, I've then reserved the right not to knit the one you choose. <laughs> right, so let's get on with day four. So day four is currently crochet day, and that's living in my lovely bag from Craft House Magic. At the moment, it's still squeezing in there. I'm hoping it might squeeze in there until I'm um, moving on to my Christmas bags. So this is my Christmas blanket and this is a crochet granny square blanket and I'm going to hold it up the other way I finished 
the last of my squares the ones with the stitch markers on and I've joined it so this is how it's joined up that's that side and then that's that side so pretty I love that pink on top of that um, gold so that's how it's looking at the moment I can try and find a bit with it all in so that's got four strips um, it's 20 squares by four strips at the moment I want it 20 squares by um, 20 strips and I think that'll be a huge blanket and this is for Christmas and will only come out at Christmas time so I have looked at all my what I call Christmas coloured minis and made it into a blanket and it's just five rounds of granny clusters and then it's seamed together with a single crochet I'm using a grey which is called Silver Bells from Yantantethera for the joins and then all sorts of minis like my current minis are my current squares have I actually got squares or have I just got minis did I not put yes I did so these are my current ones this is my next one I've got the dark so it's got grey green in that one and then green which I really love I love that combination I can't say that one screams Christmas to me but it's from a Christmas set it's from a homespun house set which if I've got the I have got the little label it's got a little label on it tiny little label and it is from this one is the Wet Bandits. Anybody know what film that's from? <laughs> You're all screaming at the screen, aren't you? So it's from a Christmas film. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to put that in there because it's got a Christmas name to it. But I quite like it with that green, I have to admit. And this is a West Greenloft Johns from her Christmas in July set. It's the one I had left over that didn't go in the strip that I've just done. So the strip I've just done is all West Greenloft Johns. But yeah, I'm just, I really enjoy doing that. This is the silver that I've got. I'm hoping I will have enough to do the blanket joins. If I don't, I need to message the lovely Helen from Yantan Tethera and ask if she would mind doing me another one. Um, and that is a magic knot ball I'm making with my leftovers, which I am going to knit into a habitation throw or crochet into a corner to corner blanket I haven't decided which yet but that's probably going to be next year's Christmas blanket <laughs> not this year's not that I anticipate getting this done this year but you never know I might do but uh, yeah it's pretty I'm really pleased with it it's almost big enough to wrap around me now it's definitely outgrowing this bag so that's day four, crochet day. So day five is Here Comes the Whip, which is where I work on a long outstanding whip. And at the moment it is my habitation throw in my advent from Sherry Iris from last year. And if I remember rightly, I did not do much on this this week. In fact, I think this is going to be not even worth showing you. I am still on the same mini as last week and as you can see it's not much smaller and I did there we go so from where is where's my little where's my little cat gone there he is I did from the cat so just literally that bit there that's all I did not a lot on that one this week but I do love how it's knitting up it's very pretty And despite the fact it's really the only thing I want to knit on, it didn't get a lot of fluff. I'm guessing I was very busy that day. But that happens. Um, as I said, it was my advent from Sherry Iris. And it's living in my puffing bag from Busy Pottering. So that's day five. Day six is living in my 
our kit from Ginny Makes. And oh, I am doing the Northeasterly by Skinanigans. And I'm still on the Giddy Yarns strip. So I'm using different dyers for each strip of mine. It's really nicely tangled right now. Oops. Again, this didn't get much work. I did from there to there. Do you remember we were having this conversation on last week's podcast that this fell on the day that um, I went to Windsor Castle. So I took the socks with me to Windsor Castle. Obviously, Jim wasn't going to take this with me. Um, and that's all I did when I got back. So... I really need to crack on with this. Really need to crack on with this. Um, so this, at the moment, my minis I'm using are Giddy Yarn minis, and I'm using a different dyer on each strip, which I've just said. I'm now repeating myself. And it's, it's getting there. It's coming on. It's very pretty. She's also very tangled. Come on, there we go. Oh, it's going to be lovely when it's done. But again, I seem to be showing you the same thing every week because all of my projects are big projects. I need to make some small things um, so I can get some bits done. Although, I missed it, I did get this done. So, you know, I have got one finished object this week. So that's it for the rotation. That's all the day. Next up is my cosy memory blanket, and that is living in my seaside bag by Busy Pottering. And oh, I need to do today's, but otherwise I am up to date on mine. Now these are all Woolly Goodness minis from her blanket box. So all of these ones have stitch markers on. And then I started a new side. There we go. So I think this is the August box I'm using at the moment. She says, looking it up. Yes, this is the August box I'm using at the moment. I think she's got her October boxes up for sale at, at the minute as well. So yeah, that's my cosy memory blanket and it's getting huge. So if you're doing yours at square a day, you too have something similar in size to this. Which I love. Now I'm thinking for next year's square a day, um, what I might do is do two check-ins. Um, so if you want to start again, You'll check in with whatever amount the three months is, so theoretically 90 odd days. But if you want to carry on with the one that you're already doing, um, we'll do a check in for however many we've finished on, so 366 plus 90 days. Um, so there'll be two figures that you can check into. Um, there'll only be one thread, but. You can check in either check and I'll get people to say whether they're checking in with the 90 or whether they're checking in with the although that's probably obvious by the sound. No, ignore that. <laughs> That'll be pretty obvious, won't it? Oh dear. Um because I'm thinking then if you've got ones that you started this year that you don't want to finish as such and start a new one, you want to carry on, then you can and you can still take part. So next up I have got a little bit of spinning and I spun the white bat that I showed you. This was like spinning a cloud. It was so nice to spin. I think it's the nicest thing I've ever spun. <laughs> so I did it so quickly. It's really fine as well. So I'm really pleased with that. So I am going to apply that with the other bat that I spun. So hopefully next week I'll have some finished yarn for you. Um, but yeah, this was gorgeous. I'm in two minds. Do I just, I mean, I haven't got enough of this really just to ply it with itself. Otherwise, because um, that would be lovely. Um, so no, it's going to go. It's going to go on the other one. But yeah, so that's my 
spinning this week um i don't know where this bat is from it did not have a name on it um it could be an owl about yarn bat the other one is and it was with it so it could very well be owl about yarn um i don't remember buying a white bat <laughs> that's not very helpful but um it's lovely it's got some sparkle to it as well it seems to have some dark bits on it in camera which it hasn't got in real life that that bit there is not dark that must be shadow I think no okay <laughs> but I do like it so that was my spinning now a little bit of embroidery um, I am trying to make a journal cover for my journal and I am using a set from the stitchery which is an autumn reef um, it's move that across there then hopefully you can see it a little bit better I've got all the little toadstools done um, and I'm now starting on the leaves this is taking me a lot longer than I was expecting it to I have to admit um, I struggled with the leaves I had to take the leaves out a couple of times but I've had a good look at some leaves that Sherry did on where's my thing gone here we go Sherry's leaves on here um, how she did those and I'm going to do the same on these ones now and yeah I really like that so that's going to be made into my next journal cover hopefully before the journal's finished because <laughs> I think it's a nice autumn autumn um, embroidery autumnal colours so that was from the stitchery There we go. And yeah, that's um that's what I'm embroidering at the moment. And then journal. Um I've just finished this journal. Oh, it's got its tail sticking out. Um I have just finished this journal. Um I started a new one today, the first of October, so that's how this one ended up looking at the end now i will during um vlogtober do a bit more of a flick through this but um i thought i'd just show you what it looked like kind of all finished off um and i'll give you a proper flick through during a vlogtober and i am now starting my new one now these are the journals i use it's called this is my era it is very boring and black you can get red ones um but the black ones were on special offer where you could get two for 19.99 or instead of one for 16.99 so i have just started putting my month in so that's december um that's november and yeah this is october i have got a, a little bit more sort of on the October one so that's where I will start with this today um, I think I did do some goals in this one I do some goals in this one yeah sort of like I've got Christmas lists and vlogmas lists um, Yeah, advent swaps, vlogtober, so I can get them all sorted. This, this, so this is what I kind of need to sort this three months. So that's what the blank pages look like. Those are the daily pages. You've got weekly pages too, which um, I haven't actually done yet. I haven't done the um, the weekly ones yet. But yeah, um, so I'm starting a new one. Um, hopefully that cover will be done at some point that can go over there and I will make my my cover for that one. Um, so that's it for the creative content. I've got happy mail next. So I've got a little bit of happy mail. Um, first of all is from Bumbling Yarns, which is lovely Laura of Crafters Balm and um, the Lonely Knitter podcast. So this is her Perth. Festival of Yarn Colourway, which is redhead in the black dress. Um, 
It is really pretty. And also, I have her minis for her blanket box. I'm going to do it that way because, there we go, you can see them. I don't really want to have to get them all out. So I need to do another, I need to get her other one actually in my cozy memory blanket and then get these ones in. So these are 10 times 5 grams for her scrappy club. And then this, oh, I love this. This is the lovely Kelly. Lay family yarn. Um, Kelly is doing some autumnal colourways and this is spiced apple. It's just and I think I want a sweater's quantity of this in DK <laughs> because it's gorgeous and yeah I love it so I think I may very well ask for a sweater's quantity in DK of this from Kelly for Christmas from my hubby. <laughs> Let's have that go. Which I do. Oh, I just love this. Really love this. Right, so that's it for my acquisitions. Um, I have got a giddy yarn one that's just arrived, but I will open that on the vlog so you will have already seen that theoretically. Um, that's it. So life now. Oh wow, life. Um, it was Charlie's birthday, who is my middle daughter. Um, she turned 25 on Friday last week. Um, so you will see some footage of us having a breakfast together. Um, and then we went to Windsor Castle. So there's a lot of footage, I think, of the Windsor Castle gardens and just going around the castle, um, which will come at the end of this. We did go out for a Friday adventure. We went to the Isle of Grain again. Um, that was lovely had some lunch and watched some boats go past. So I may have some footage of that. <laughs> um, as far as life is concerned, there's nothing really much, too much to report right now. Um, I am going to hopefully share a lot more of what we're going on, what's going on with our family during October. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you'll see a little bit more of what's going on. As I said, I'm not going to do podcasts while I'm vlogging because that is just too much. <laughs> But if you'd like to um, watch all the vlogs in one go, it should be almost like a podcast anyway, theoretically. Um, I don't even know what today is today, but I will sort that out in the vlog in a minute. <laughs> um, this coming week, anything exciting happening? No, not really. Um, I'm going out tomorrow to Into the Blue to have dinner with Ian. That's, I'm looking forward to that. Otherwise, um, Kate and I are going to be watching Bake Off together, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and um, I need to cast on my Strictly socks because I haven't done that yet. And I need to decide which jumper I'm or sweater I'm going to cast on. So yeah, it's gonna, that's that for, uh, that side of things is really exciting. I'm looking forward to doing Vlogtober, but I should probably get sorted out for work now um so i hope you're all okay wherever you are take care i will see you during the october vlogs and i'll see you for another proper podcast um the first sunday in november mm -hmm.